Hey there, and welcome to Tesla Northwest and EVs. You and I are gonna take a fantastic trip through downtown Bellingham to Fairhaven. So join me as we try out the latest version of FSD Beta 11.4.2. We're gonna head through downtown Bellingham and into Fairhaven, and then we'll film a second video heading through Chuckanut Drive to see how this latest update handles narrow, curvy roads. So join me for the first video, hit that like and subscribe for the second one, and just thank you so much to everybody who commented and watched my last video. I really appreciate it. So thank you, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Right, hey folks, and welcome back to Tesla Northwest and EVs. You and I are taking a drive through downtown Bellingham into Fairhaven, and then we're gonna do a second video into Chuckanut Manor. So be on the lookout for that. But for now, we're gonna get started. Here we go. And as soon as it lets me, FSD is engaged. So we are now gonna let the car handle the rest of the drive. This is uh, the latest uh, update of full self-driving. This is 11.4.2. And uh, for those of you that watched my channel before, you'll be familiar with this route. So we like to test uh, FSD on a variety of interesting intersections, this being one of them. The car doesn't quite know what it can do, but it made it. Okay, now we've got some construction people. So we're gonna see what the car does here. Very nicely done. And there is Bellingham Police, keeping an eye on things. <laughs> All right, we did good so far. Uh, we had a couple, oh, nope, car, nope, car. Okay, so it was thinking, wait, turn okay and we've got some traffic coming from this direction all right so far so good the car is doing a good job it had to creep out a little bit to see but we'll give it a break for that and now we should be clear and we can go and it went as soon as it knew it was clear so very well done all right so we uh, managed to make it through kind of a, a honky wonky intersection there and then we made it through and did an unprotected left turn with poor visibility, and the car handled that. We managed to get around road construction with no issue. So we, folks, are doing great so far. Uh, I can't tell you all how much I appreciated uh, the views and the likes and the subscribes, so thank you to all the new viewers. Um, continually trying to improve, and I always appreciate your comments. So don't feel like you shouldn't leave one. Um, I take what you have to say to heart and I try and make those improvements. So you know, just bear with me, continually trying to make it better. And I hope you've seen that. Uh, new subscribers, if you'd like to go back and check some of my older videos, <laughs> I promise they're a little rough, uh, but you know, then again, so are these. But you know, we just keep getting better and better. Had a wonderful day up at work. I teach uh, instrumentation and controls technology at the Bellingham Technical College. Uh, formerly used to work for 20 years in oil refining, doing maintenance. I worked in both of the big oil refineries down in Anacortes. That's where I call home. So we commute up here uh, three or four days a week to teach and then the rest of the time remote from home. Bellingham is such a pretty town, pretty city, I guess. And here we're rolling into some of the older parts of it. We got uh, Parberry Recycling up here on the left, which I do believe they are out of business now. And for anybody familiar with this area, uh, the Lighthouse Mission, our wonderful homeless shelter up here, has been torn down because they're building them a new one. So very, very glad to see and hear that. That's right up here on the left where we see this construction. They're getting a new shelter. And the car handled those pedestrians great. The guy was right on the edge of the sidewalk. And yeah, good speed through here. Nice and easy. And then up uh, further ahead here on the left-hand side, up on the hill, we can see uh, what used to be the Bellingham 
City Hall and is now a really great museum that talks about our local heritage and history as well as the Native Americans. That big red building there, built in 1892. And we're headed to Fairhaven. Fairhaven was uh, originally its own city and then founded by Dan Harris. Uh, and then it was incorporated into Bellingham uh, eventually. Okay, good. So here we've got our right-hand turn coming up. Car's acting a little weird. Don't know why it's doing that. Okay, making our turn. Good. And in the past, it has sometimes missed this stop sign because there's a box truck hiding it, but so far we're doing pretty good. So, really bad visibility and railroad tracks. So we're gonna just let the car do its thing. This guy's backing up. Yeah, you don't wanna stop on railroad tracks, brother. <laughs> and it looks like I might get a chance to go here in a minute. Oh, pedestrians. Man, what beautiful weather. It's a little muggy, and I'm sorry about the air conditioning noise. I'll try and keep it so it isn't super loud. Oh man, this guy here, he's a little timid. Come on, buddy. Do your thing, you can go. You can go. Come on, go. Go. Okay, now the car is kind of aggressive. I'm going to give it a little juice to get it out in front of that other car. Okay, that was that was pretty well done, but it should have committed to it. It uh, started to pop out, and then it hesitated when it saw that Hyundai behind us. So I gave it just a little gas, and then it did its thing. So now we're going to let it move through here. Downtown Bellingham can be somewhat challenging depending on how many pedestrians, bicyclists, and obviously traffic there is. We're gonna keep a nice speed. Light's turning yellow. Okay, good, we're doing good here. And I'm just gonna let the car do its thing. It has to contend with a bike lane. And we're gonna stop here, that's fine. So as you can see, there's a bike lane on our right side. We're gonna go up through this light and the next light, and then we've gotta make a right-hand turn and cut across that bike lane. So let's we'll see how the car does. So far, I'm just loving it. Amos is doing such a good job. Uh, for all of you that may not know, it's a 2022 Model Y Performance, and we've got just about uh, a little over 30,000 miles on it. So we do a lot of driving. And we'll be bringing you some really great road trip videos uh, coming this summer. We'll be heading uh, down to California, and then over to uh, Nevada and the Grand Canyon, and eventually Texas. Okay, so we've got a right-hand turn we have to make up here. Let's see how the car does with this weird Subaru. Come on, car. Okay, good. Good job, car. Good. No bicyclists use the bicycle turn thing that you're supposed to use. And now we're going to make a nice right. Oh, beautifully well done. Awesome. And we're going to goose our speed just a little bit. Somebody mentioned in the comments that... Uh, the car, yes, it does have to follow all of the uh, road rules and laws, except for speed limits. And uh, I don't know about where you folks live at, um, but here, I don't know just about anybody that does the speed limit. It's always like five or 10 over. Uh, and so typically, if you see me playing with my speed, don't get me wrong, I do like to go fast. <laughs> but more often than not, I'm trying to just um, adjust to keep pace with the flow of traffic. So that's why I'm playing with my speed quite often. It can be a little frustrating, honestly. I wish people would just pick a speed and stick with it. But definitely doing the speed limit now. All right, we've got a roundabout approaching. And then pretty smooth sailing until we get into Fairhaven. And the car in previous versions of FSD uh, would try and do some weird things with lanes, like go around traffic by using a parking lane. And so we're gonna see if it does that when we get to Fairhaven. And then we'll call that a good video because we wanna keep these kind of short. And the next one I'm gonna film will be uh, taking Chuck Nut Drive. So we'll take uh, 
Scenic Highway 11, which is uh, Chuckanut Drive, and it's very narrow, very twisty, uh, lots of bicyclists at times, people on trails, so it's a good challenge to see how well this newest update handles narrow, windy roads with very little uh, fudge factor. And it's a beautiful drive. We'll have some great views. So hit that like and subscribe if you're enjoying this. And uh, you don't want to miss out on some more FSD testing. We're going to be putting this here 11.4.2 through its paces as best I can. So if you have some suggestions, let me know. I saw one for some unprotected left-hand turns, and we've already had a couple of those so far. So I try my best to, uh, to meet people's needs. a beautiful drive too. Off to our right down there is Bellingham Bay and uh, we just rolled kind of past the old Georgia Pacific industrial site. We had a pulp and paper mill from here for many decades and it was a backbone of our industry. But unfortunately the Georgia Pacific had to shut down. Most of our pulp and paper mills have been shutting down. So uh, Bellingham is reclaiming that area, trying to spruce it up and make it nice. But I do believe they also want to bring in a little bit of industry because you got to have good paying jobs to afford the nice waterfront properties. All right, Mr. Honda Element, we've got some weird speeds going on here. Good job, Amos. And uh, I'm working on, hopefully this narration's okay. Uh, I don't write a script or anything. I just throw the camera up and do my best to, you know, have a good time and kind of talk to you. It's, most of it's off the cuff. The information I do try and share, I always try and share it accurately. So if I say or misspeak, I apologize because I don't want to give bad information. Uh, but that is kind of my philosophy. I don't do a lot of edits uh, and I don't do a lot of scripting. I will some, depending on the video. But Otherwise, it's just you and me hanging out in Amos going for an FSD drive <laughs> and seeing how much we can challenge uh, this software with real situations. I don't want to put it in a situation that it's like questionable, it'll ever actually happen, but we want to see how it does in real real life. And that's what this is. This is my commute home. So, so far, so good. We're approaching downtown Fairhaven and we'll see how the car manages to get through this main drag here. And then uh, once we get up to our light and make our turn, I'll bid you a farewell and start recording the Chuckanut Drive portion of this for uh, tomorrow's video. Whoa, whoa, car easy does it. Okay, that was a little odd. And I think it got a little confused by the bike lane. Good, nice pinch in the brakes for the pedestrian. A little anxious going through here just because it does act kind of funny so so far no interventions uh, safety related or convenience related it's done a really great job getting us through yeah very well done didn't try and get too far over it's a little bit weird you can feel it in the, the wheel like it's kind of thinking about going over there but it, it hasn't yet so great and this is our light if we were going to get on Interstate 5, we'd take a left here, but for us to go to Chuckanut, we are see, look at it, it's doing something, that's kind of strange, right? Like, uh, okay, people probably think I'm weird, but you know, hey, not, it's not a game ender, you know, like it didn't, it's not a game changer. Uh, I wouldn't have intervened for that, but it does look kind of funny. And uh, I'm thinking about uh, seeing if I can get a, a chase car, so maybe have my wife follow me in the Fiat with a camera, and record what FSD looks like to other drivers. Now, that's not my idea. Kyle Connor at Out of Spec Studio has done it before, um, but I think it's a neat thing, and I mean, I wanna try it. So hopefully in the future, uh, I'll get that lined out and we'll be able to do that for you too. All right, we've got our last left-hand turn here. We're entering Chuckanut Drive. And so I just appreciate you all joining me and have a wonderful afternoon. That was a zero intervention drive through downtown Bellingham into Fairhaven. And now we're gonna get on Chuckanut. Talk to you later. Catch you on the flip side.